Hey there, and welcome to lesson number five, how to draw Chibi Kylo Ren. So in this lesson, we're gonna explore the concept of foreshortening. So foreshortening is basically when objects are closer to you, they appear larger than things that are behind. So in the case of my pen, it looks like it's quite short this way, but because the front is closer to you, it'll appear bigger than the area in the back. So explore that with his hand, because I'm gonna have his hand sort of posed forward. So let's start with the face. We're gonna start at the top of the visor with a curve that goes from left to right. So starting on the left, we'll curve up to the right. From here, we're gonna round up the ends. So I'm just gonna round them out. And we're gonna come straight down on the sides. And we'll make sure that these are equal length. Now we're gonna curve these up in towards the center, but there's gonna be a straight line across the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna come up a little bit on the, from the top and come across with a straight line in the center. From these corners, we're gonna curve them right into those ends. So just curve in, on the left, and on the right. Okay, from here, we're gonna draw the bottom part of the face mask. From this corner here, we're gonna curve down to the jaw. So I'm gonna draw the jaw down to about here. So from this corner, I'm gonna curve down towards the left. And from this corner, we're gonna curve down towards the right. Let's continue blocking in the mask. So from these corners, we're gonna come down towards the center. Pretty much the same distance as we have in the center line, just down here. So I wanna make sure that I line up here, line up here, draw a point. And these points, from these ends, we're gonna draw a straight line to those little points, those little guidelines. We're gonna draw a straight line across the bottom. From here, let's draw a curve that connects these two corners. So from the left, we're gonna curve over to the right. Let's draw a little bit of detail. So along this edge here, we're just gonna trace around. I'm just gonna come up to about there. Do the same thing on the right side. And we're gonna connect those two points with a straight line. Inside here, there's a little bit of detail. It looks like a rounded bar that goes across. So we're gonna start with the top, we're gonna round up the ends, and we're gonna go straight across. Okay, so we got that. Let's get into the size of the jaw. So the jaw from these points are gonna curve to the sides of the head. So right here, I'm gonna curve into that face mask. Do the same thing on the right side. From here, we're gonna curve up to the sides of the temple, so just beside the visor here. So curving up, curve up on both sides. Now from here, we're gonna draw up to the top of the inner part of the hood, which I'm gonna draw pretty much up to here. So I wanna take that distance between the top of the visor and the chin and make it twice as high, so up to here. So we're gonna draw a smooth curve that goes up. So we can draw a curve that goes up towards the center. And then we're gonna come back down on the right side. So curving down like so. Okay, now we're gonna to have to go in and draw in all that detail inside the mask. So if you want it, we can start by coloring this area of the visor in black. Okay, so now that I'm looking at my, my composition, I'm looking at the left side and the right side. And you can see that this side here comes down a little lower than the right. And now I can correct that because I'm using a Sharpie marker. I'm gonna come down just a little bit on the right side and just correct this fix. So I'm gonna come in and just draw in a little bit of depth. So a little bit lower, just to match the left side a little bit better. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Let's go in and draw the stripes around the head. So we start with the sides. So beside this mask, I'm gonna draw a straight line coming down. We're gonna draw them on the right side as well, just like so. Now from here, I'm gonna curve up along and just follow that same contour, that same line across the top. So just above, I'm gonna round out, and then I'm gonna come across and just basically follow that curve all the way to the right side and just run out of that corner. Let's go ahead and thicken this up. I'm gonna start on the side here and just kind of make it a bit thicker on the side. And I'm just gonna draw an angle, just to finish off that end there. 
Let's do the same thing on the right side. So coming down, just making it a little thicker. And as we get to the top, it's going to get a little bit wider. So it starts to thicken up like so. We're going to take this and just draw a curve and just follow that line all the way across to the right side and then just taper it back in. You just fix that corner there. And we're going to go ahead and color all this in black. Now that we got that, there's two more lines that go up above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the side here, right beside the mask, and just curve around, just tracing outside that lower curve. Just going across, making sure that's equal distance all the way around. And as I get to the side, I'm just going to tuck this in beside the hood. We'll go ahead and just make it a little thicker. So we're going to start a little bit thin on the side and get thicker as we get up to the top. I'm going to go across. and then just taper it down on the ends. We'll go ahead and color all this in black. Okay, now that we've got that, there's one more to go. So we're just gonna go up above here and draw this exact same thing. So starting on the side, we're gonna curve around and just come down and just follow that same line all the way across and then tuck this down beside the hood. And again, we're going to start a little thinner on the side and just get a little bit thicker as you get towards the top. So we're going to just come across and then just taper it down on the end. And again, we're going to go in and color all this in black. Okay, now that we got that, let's draw the top of the mask. So it's basically just the one curve, starting from the side. We're gonna again, follow that curve of those lines all the way across, and then we're gonna color this top part in black. Okay. So we got the inner parts of the face. Let's draw in a little bit more detail under the, the face mask here. So there's a stripe that just comes underneath this eye. So starting right about here, we're gonna curve up and tuck that in underneath the face mask. On the end here, we're just gonna come down in an angle and then make this twice as thick and then color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna curve underneath the eye and then we're gonna draw another one just below it and then just angle out. So it's pointing in an angle like this. Go ahead and color this in black. I'm going to draw a smaller one on the side here. So just underneath, draw a little curve like this. And all we need to do is just taper it in and tuck that in. So we're going out and you start off thick right by the face mask and just go to a point at the end. Okay, so we got that. Let's get into the outside of the hood. So right here on the side of the mask, I'm going to have to draw in the bottom part of the inner part of the hood. So right here, where the face that meets the top of the skull, we're going to curve out. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. So curving out. From here, we're going to take these two points and curve and tuck underneath this muzzle, so the face mask. So here, we're going to curve in. So you can see there's a slight curve going up like that. From here, we're going to taper out the outside edge of the hood. So from here, this line here, we want to come out and just draw a curve going in like that. So it gets a little bit thinner as we get towards this face mask. Do the same thing on the right side. So curving out. Now we're going to draw the contour of the outside of the helmet, or the head. So up here, we're going to draw a point. This is where the top of the head or the hood is going to be. So I'm going to draw a point in the middle, right there. From this side, I'm going to curve in. So I'm going to curve in and start to come up. From this point, I just want to make my way to that side there, to that point, by curving right into a sharp point. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna start at the top, curving down. And then from here, we're gonna round out and then just turn out to that side of the hood. Okay, so we got the hood. Let's get into the body. Now, this is where I'm gonna start drawing in the body in a little bit of a turn. It's not gonna be straightforward. He's gonna be turned this way. 
So let's draw the scarf, or the, the cape that goes over the neck, or the shoulders. So just on the left side of this curve, we start here, draw a curve coming down, and then it goes past. So you see it's sort of shifted this way. We're gonna do that same thing just underneath on this side. So we're gonna take that point there and start over here. Take a marker and just kind of curve it right underneath that part of the scarf. Now we're gonna draw the foreshortening element of this drawing, the hand. So the hand is actually pushed forward. It's gonna be bigger than the hand in the back. So we'll start and position the hand right here. So I'm gonna have him in sort of a claw like this. So we're gonna start with the inside part of the wrist here, this part here. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna curve around to the thumb and just pull this in like that. We're gonna draw a little bit of wrinkle. So here, I'm gonna draw a little bit of that wrinkle on this side. So we're gonna come back a bit, just draw a little curve like that. Come back to the tip of this thumb and draw a curve like this. Now this is this part of the hand there. Let's get into overlaying the fingers. So starting at the top of the thumb here, we're gonna curve out and round out the first finger. From here, we're gonna come down and just draw a little curve, a little hook like that. We're gonna do a series of overlaps here now. So we're gonna take that finger and just rotate it around, tucked in underneath the finger. So we're gonna start here, round out, and then we're gonna draw that little hook. We'll do one more. So this one's gonna be almost like facing the opposite direction. So here, curve around, Pull this in, and then just do a curve like that. From here, right by this finger, we're just gonna do a curve right into that wrist point there. Okay, so now this is the hand pushed forward. The arm is gonna come into the body here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up here, we draw a line underneath this hood. This is the top of the arm. We go back down towards the wrist here, we're gonna curve in towards the armpit. Kind of like this. Okay. Now the body, we're going to turn the body a little bit. So it's going to be sort of hunched over this way because it's not straight, it's turned this way. So what we're going to do is draw the back here, the hips are going to come down to here, and we're going to draw the front. So underneath this arm, we draw a curve towards the waist. Up here, I'm going to draw that same curve, but I'm going to leave a little gap here, coming down towards the hips. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve, coming down and then back up. Let's draw a very simple belt. We're going to come up a little bit and draw that same curve along the top. And we'll draw a little buckle detail here. So two lines vertically. And then just for a little detail, I'm just going to draw two circles, just one above the other. Okay, so we got that. Let's get into this arm. This arm is going to be holding his saber. It's got the two spikes that stick out on the side. So with the hand here, I'm going to draw it first. So this hand is going to be slightly smaller than this one because it's in the background. Okay, so starting here, we're going to start at the same point, the wrist. So starting here, I'm going to curl around and then draw that thumb. From here we're going to draw a little wrinkle and then from that same point we'll draw the meat of the hand there. So this is this part here. Let's draw on the first finger. So here I'm just going to draw a little hump. I'm going to go back down here and just tuck this finger underneath the thumb and that finger there. And then one more time. I'm going to draw one more like so. Let's draw in the saber uh, the handle. So I'm going to have the lightsaber in this angle here. So I'm going to have to draw two lines coming down that same angle. From here I'm going to connect those two points with a curve. Now I can draw the back side of the hand. So here I'm just going to move over, just draw a curve like this tucked into that wrist point. Let's finish off this arm. So up here where the cloak uh, stops into the chin, we're going to come in right into that arm. Come under this armpit and curve into that hand. Okay, so here, let's draw and finish in the lightsaber. So here I'm gonna draw the, the top point of the lightsaber and come up with two lines coming out in that same angle. We're gonna close that off with a curve. Now here is where the side parts come up. So in this corner here, I'm just gonna draw a straight line coming out this way. So it's almost like a T. From the ends, I'm gonna round out the ends and I'm just gonna pull those right into that lightsaber there. For the saber, I'm going to draw two points. So from the center, I'm going to follow this line this way. So coming out here, I'm going to draw a point. From this point, I just want to come out into the sides of that, uh, that side guard. So here, I'm going to come down, find the center point. From the corners here, I'm going to come to a point, to that point. Now, with the main part, it's going to come straight up to a point here. So I'm just going to put a point there. From this point, I'm gonna come out, and I'm gonna kind of bow it out a little bit, so it's not just a straight line. It's gonna to come to the side 
or that lightsaber, like that. And then again on the other side, coming in. Again, it's, it's easier to pull lines towards you to make them straight than it is to push away from you. We've got that. Let's get into some wrist detail. So along this arm, there's some stripes. I'm going to follow this curve of this hand by drawing these little curves spaced evenly all the way up the arm. Like so. So I finish there. On this side, I'll do the same thing. So I'm just going to round out, tuck this in behind the hand. So you see the curve. Just like that. Okay, so we got the arms. Let's get into the bottom part of the body. Now he's got these two big things that stick out, this little, almost like a skirt that comes down to the ankle. So the feet, I'm gonna draw down to here. So I'm just gonna come up a little bit here. This is being the bottom of the skirt. I'm gonna take these corners of the belt, just curve down on both sides. I'm gonna curve these in towards the center with two equal length curves. This side I'm gonna overlap. So I'm gonna come over to the right side like that. This one I'm going to tuck underneath with a curve going in the opposite direction. Underneath here, he's got another sort of sub underskirt. So across here, I'll draw a straight line. And I'm going to draw a series of lines going straight across, kind of mimicking the arms here. The final part, let's draw in the feet. I'm going to come in and draw a line on both sides. Now for the bottom of the feet, I'm going to come across with a curve to the toe. So curving the bottom of the feet on both sides. From here, we're going to take the toes and curve them up underneath that skirt. So just curving up, these simple curves going across. And then along the bottom of the feet, we're just going to trace that same curve along the bottom of the feet for the sole. And the final step is just drawing the cape coming down on sides. So here, I'm going to imagine a curve coming down. And on this side, I'm going to curve in that same direction. So it's curving this way. We're going to connect those with a curve. But we're going to have to tuck this in underneath the body. So starting on the left. I'll tuck this in underneath the body and on the right as well. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Kylo Ren. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.